As many of you probably know by now, editing is the most important skill to have while in a build fight. Being able to swiftly edit builds and seamlessly transition between multiple edits often is what gives you the upper hand on your enemies. In the past, we've made a few videos of some different edits and how to use them. Today, we'll be focusing on a few techniques to help you actually make these edits as quickly as possible. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The most important thing for editing speed is to know the shortest path to click and drag. By using optimal edit pathing, you minimize the amount of mouse slash controller movement that is required for you to make the edit. The first thing you need to know about edit pathing is in order to prime an edit, you don't actually need to hit the center of each edit square. You can click drag on the corners or edges of each edit square and it works the same. Using only the corners and edges of the edit squares drastically reduces the amount you'll have to move your mouse to make an edit. While it might not seem like that much initially, the milliseconds you shave off by editing this way can very easily get you the upper hand in a tense scenario. Something you should know is that the faster you go on these corner edits, the easier it will be to make a mistake. Being fast on your edits is a lot like playing an instrument. You need to train your muscle memory by doing it over and over again before you're able to have pixel perfect mouse movements. Once you master the movements, the next step is finding the shortest possible path to hit each square. Here is our take on the fastest edit path for some of the most commonly used edits in the game. This next technique is a really simple trick that you probably already know. Instead of manually clicking on each edit square to reset an edit, you can simply hit the reset key to set a build back to its default state. Take it a step further, the reset key is the fastest way to swap between edits on any structure. If you're not using the reset button when trying to swap between edits on the same structure, you end up doing a lot more work than required. To do this, you might have to break a habit you may have where you instantly confirm your edit after resetting it. Instead of confirming the edit upon swapping, you want to hit the reset button, highlight a new edit, then confirm. While swapping between edits is generally situational, being able to do so is good for certain editing tricks like flipping a pyramid and can be used to really mind game your opponents in turtling scenarios. The scroll wheel reset is the fastest and easiest way to reset a build. Doing the scroll wheel reset is really easy. You just need to go into your keybind settings and look for the reset building edit and building edit keys and set the secondary binds for both to mouse wheel up or mouse wheel down based on your preference. From there on, all you have to do is move your scroll wheel two clicks in the correct direction and you'll be able to scroll wheel reset to your heart's content. As you can see, by using the scroll wheel reset, you can make an edit and reset it so quickly you can barely tell the edit was made at all. This comes in handy in a couple of situations. The first is an edit reset bait, where you make an edit then reset it immediately, baiting the other players into shooting and destroying your wall. This trick also comes in handy when you need to make awkward angle edits. Let's say you're turtling and want to make an edit play with your ceiling. You want to reset as soon as you get your shot off, but catching the angles to reset can be awkward by conventional means. Using the scroll wheel to reset makes it a breeze to grab and reset edits from any angle. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're making a special announcement this week. We have been granted custom matchmaking access, meaning we'll be able to host our own games now. We've been looking to do some more interactive content with our subs ever since our first stream last month, and we're in the midst of planning out a second stream where we'll try and host some sub games. If you're interested, keep an eye out for an announcement on our channel or Twitter over the next few weeks, and hopefully we might...